Okay, tell us what you mean by the circular economy. Okay, I think first thing to say it's not a linear economy because we've got a linear economy right now, which is make you know take, make and dispose, lots of wasted uh, materials, products, use of energy. Everybody knows that picture. The circular economy is an attempt to get more feedback into the economy to keep products working longer, to design them better so they could be repaired, maintained, uh, remanufactured, designed for disassembly as well. And if you're going to go right down to uh, the recycling end of things, materials should be better designed so they can come back into the system more elegantly. So it's a, an economy much fuller of feedback which offers economic and business value. So that's the important thing about it. It might not just be great for environmental purposes, it actually starts with the business and business models and opportunities. Can you give an example? Yeah, of a, a, a great example, a famous one that most people know from Holland is Desso Carpets. Desso design their carpets to be remade. They've got a process where they can work right back to the original nylon, nylon 6, and reintegrate it into the carpet. So they take waste carpets from all over, well, Britain and Europe, and they remanufacture them into new carpet. So that's an example of designing for the whole cycle. They're, they're very expert at that. And do you see the circular economy like uh, a trend or something that's upcoming right now? It's upcoming because resource prices and energy prices are really quite high, even with the recession that's been here and the one that might be coming next year or unhappily. Uh, so with resources and energy prices so high, it makes sense to make better use of materials and products if you want to add profit. And we had uh, the help of McKinsey to do an analysis on that that showed uh, the possibilities for business. And what kind of, uh, what are the most um, promising possibilities for entrepreneurs right now who want to tap well, into that circular economy? Yeah, there's been one big change uh, as far as I'm concerned in the last 15 years, and that's the IT revolution, which has enabled us to track materials, monitor processes, share assets, you know, really get a hang, hang on products and materials, how they're used. Uh, for instance, engines and aircraft are monitored all the time by the factory to make sure they're completely in spec. So that we have a chance to design products so that they can have extended product life. Uh, we can use buildings more effectively. We're going towards driverless cars. So the IT revolution is changing how we perhaps might say get around, about how we might use houses, use different products, uh, get access to different services. For instance, Philips will sell you lumens. They won't sell you light bulbs, they'll sell you how much light you get on your desk as a contract, you know, if you're in a big firm. So that Philips look after the maintenance of the lights. That's not your problem. You just pay to have a certain amount of illumination. So this idea of moving from a product to a service. And look at the 700 cities there are now around the world that have bike sharing. They wouldn't be doing bike sharing if it wasn't for the IT revolution. So we're going to pay for the usage as it's more an, as, the, as the product yeah, itself? Yeah, because it's a better deal for the user. That's the idea. For instance, um, do you really want a washing machine? No, you want clean clothes, right? Now, if it came as part of the rent for your apartment, this washing machine, pay by use, our studies say it would be half the price to you per wash and lead to more profit for the manufacturers if it was redesigned for this long life. So we both win. And because the machinery goes back to the manufacturer, saves a whole lot on uh, waste issues. So that's also the, the link with the sharing economy. Mm -hmm. The sharing economy, as we move to selling services, not products, is a natural part of the circular economy. Thank you very much.